dares call them weak. Our modern girls play as hard and with as much vitality and stamina as any man. How do they do it? Where do they find all that energy, that seemingly inexhaustible store of pep and ginger? What is that 
whipcord resilience that lets the weaker sex play half the night, then bob up clear-eyed, ready for the next morning's work. This frail creature strikes her typewriter keys about 40,000 times a day, spaces 7,000 times, shifts to capitals and returns the carriage more than a thousand times each. Altogether, a few ounces at a time, she exerts more than five tons of pressure on her dainty fingertips in one day's work. And any way you look at it, women's work is not for sissies. Most men would have a hard time of it if they were to change jobs with wife, mother, or girlfriend. The homemaker walks miles every day, from sink to icebox, from cupboard to stove, and from kitchen to dining table. Let's use some very special photography to compress the whole job of preparing a meal into a few seconds of time to see how many steps it really takes to get dinner on the table. Remember, this is a hurry-up picture of just one meal out of more than a thousand. Is that what you'd call a blitz meal? Even an efficiency expert would be staggered by the amount of chasing around and indoor road work that the little woman takes as a matter of course. There's the stair climbing event, for example, usually accomplished full tilt and with an armload of brooms, mops, blankets, and sundry household paraphernalia. Here's another hurry up picture of the clinging vine whizzing through a day's program that would leave the average mountaineer gasping for breath. Each trip upstairs is the equivalent of lifting her own weight 12 feet. And at the rate of 20 trips a day, that's lifting about 12 tons of weight. Who said weaker sex? Ironing is another kind of work that's a lot of little jobs all rolled into one. Just to iron one of hubby's shirts, for instance, the iron may have to be lifted 20 or 30 times. And since a flat iron weighs about as much as a brick, a day's ironing actually uses just about as much muscle as bricklaying. Flattening a towel or wielding a trowel, even Stephen. Had your iron today, lady? Because men are beginning to realize how much lifting and pushing the little woman has to do around the house, more and more muscle savers are being designed to make the little jobs easier. It's one thing to make 6,000 separate scrubbing motions over a tub of clothes, and quite another to push a button that does all the work. Here's another example of sheer brute force. Now let's make a super scientific test. You'll notice that this girl is wearing a very special thimble. In fact, it isn't a thimble at all, but a gadget of springs and levers to measure the amount of force needed to sew on a button. And it's called an ergometer. According to the ergometer dial, it takes 18 units of force to push the needle through the cloth just once. In sewing stitch by stitch, that work adds up. Any man will admit that's a lot of work when it's called to his attention in the right way. And this is one way of calling it to his attention. This hurry-up picture shows that a stitch in time doesn't always save nine. You make me feel very unwifely, McNaughton. Go barbecue. I still say don't serve your awful coffee with my steaks. Oh, Mrs. Olson, he's always crabbing about my coffee. I could cry. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, beautiful. You're welcome. How can such a pretty wife make such bad coffee? I heard that. Darling, it's our anniversary. Why so glum? Nothing. Well, it's your coffee. Again? Even today? Honey, your coffee just doesn't taste any good. This must have been such a nice vacation. <laughs> Did you ever see Larry looking so happy? Oh, honey, happiness is a vacation. <laughs> Away from your coffee. Forget the coffee, Marge. It's never very good. But Phil, I... I'll get some at the plant. The raw truth teaches men how to live their best life, understanding their role as a man and enjoying the pleasures of life. You'll also learn how to capture a woman properly. Mr. 1950 is going to help you achieve this goal. What he needs you to understand is you're now fucking with a boss. That means be open to change and be willing to do the work. 
Men, it's time to be the best man you can be. Oh, and ladies, I did not forget about you. Mr. 1950 will show you how to get out of your own way and find the dream guy you've been looking for. Just be ready to be submissive to this silverback lifestyle. Man, we in here. This is what it is today. Um, I think my little lat- latency is a little off. You probably guys don't know what that is, but whatever. This is what we're about to do. We're about to rock out with some gentlemen today. Um, I always try to get on here and, you know, say something really, really quick, right? One thing I wanted to say really quick before we get the show started is I want to say that we as men have a responsibility to not only hold women accountable that's in our presence, but hold men accountable for bitch assness. We, we have an obligation for that. Now, that doesn't mean we need to tussle with them online. I'm just talking about in your presence. Being online is not your presence. Uh, so I don't, I'm, I don't need to be in this guy's comments telling him how wrong he is or he's some bitch-ass nigga. But a man that's in your presence needs to be addressed. And the reason why is because nobody's probably told him about this bitch-assness. I promise you that. A lot of these men have not been told about how they handle themselves. What they do in life matters. Like you have to be able to tell these men that because if not, you're not helping the ecosystem. If all you ladies is watching, tighten your skills up. You you can't expect, you know, look, I'm, I'm not teaching you. I'm not teaching you to cook. You, you got that got to that got to come base model. You got to do that base. You should know how to clean. You, you, you should take pride in cleaning. Make your bed in the morning. Don't just clean up because we coming through. Hey, I'm just going to tell you all again, you have an obligation to show these women how to be women. We're going to get started, men. We're going to bring these men in today. We got the guys in here. We wait no. We hold on. Let me let me let me switch this up. Look like we got this wrong. So we got the names wrong. But let me let me assign the guys the proper uh, the the proper being here. Let me assign Mal. All right, Zach, <laughs> Alpha. Let me clean this up. Let me get here. Let me get here. Zach, we're guest two. There it is. All right, Alpha Villains, we are guest one. There it is. And guess who popped in? My guy. I'm about to put him in. I'm about to put him in. We go three. There it is. Let me let me let me um help him out here on this uh this thing here. Let's get you going. Let's fire you up. Man, much respect to my guys that's come in today, man. To, yep, to yep. help 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 you men be great. Let me uh, go to. Here we go. Let me go here. My guy, I'm trying to get Alpha um, green screen connected, but it ain't. Oh, you know why? Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get him lit up with some. But anyways, let's get it started, man. If you want to start up top, uh, Alpha Villains, you want to introduce yourself and talk to you, talk to him about yourself a little bit while I get it going. Abs- absolutely, man. <clears throat> 50, uh, thanks for having me on, man. I go by the name of AV. Y'all know me already, Alpha Villains. Sign up, check out my YouTube channel, um, Alpha Villains on YouTube. I got a morning show, Finish Your Breakfast with AV, weekday mornings, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's an honor and privilege to be back on here with Zag, Miles in the game. My bro, Afi Kingdom, and let's get it, man. This is going to be a lit show. Let's go. Excellent. Let's go ahead. Go, Zag. Go ahead. You got it. Zag, can you hear me? We yeah. can't hear you, man. Your mic's muted or something. All right. Can you hear me now? I can hear yeah, you. we got you. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Zag in 20. Zag, whatever you want to call me. Manhood is the skill set. Masculinity is damn near obsolete in today's society because most dudes ain't men but between us and, and other gentlemen that we rock with 
we're trying to make sure that masculinity is still a thing for you young men. So that way young men coming up can aspire to be more than what society said they could be. Facts. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's boy Miles Cunning. Uh, appreciate you having me, uh, Mr. 1950. Y'all know what it is, man. Um, and shout out to everybody that came over here from the Real Game No Theory Show. Y'all know we do that every Sunday at uh, 12 noon Eastern time as well. Um, but, you know, Miles Cunningham, I'm here for the Bad Boy membership. I'm here for the Masculine Identity membership. I appreciate being here again. And let's get it, man. Respect to the panel. Um, Alpha Villains, K Zag, Alfie Kingdom, Mr. 1950. Respect to the chat. Let's go. It's on you, Alfie. What's, what's going on? I'm Afi Kingdom, uh, influencer, author, and real cat. <laughs> <laughs> I dig. I dig. I, y'all see the timer right there, right, man? That's where we going to, man. When this thing goes down, man, we're not, we not doing nothing over that. So we're going to get started. Of course, y'all know who I am, Miss 1950, man, last traditional man on the planet. We rocking and rolling, trying to save your life, man. Today, wasting time why does she waste her time and then and the thing is is i think the most valuable thing for a man to understand is time and and how he how he spends his time i think is very important out alpha villains we'll start with you why do you think men allow women to waste their time that's a good question man i think men allow women to waste their time is because they really don't have a program for themselves they're allowing women to give them direction to give them a purpose I mean, unfortunately, the majority of the masculinity channels revolve around what women, right? And what you guys always say, the game ain't about women. So guys don't value their time. So as a result of that, they allow women to flake on them. They allow women to do shit because they don't value their time. So when we really put the focus back on us, like you said in the beginning, the monologue, men have to hold themselves accountable. We have to start holding ourselves accountable in our presence. And if you don't have anybody masculine energy, any role models, look at yourself in the mirror and hold yourself accountable in your own presence. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, men are allowing women to waste their time is because they don't understand how valuable their time is. We're older guys. For the most part, I think Miles may be the youngest, but there's a lot of shit that I did that I wasted my time. And some of it was bitches, but also some of it was because of lack of guidance, lack of leadership and an ego that caused me to not listen to an OG. So most of you guys who have access to these gentlemen Make sure you take advantage and understand that the game ain't about women. It's really about you and holding yourself accountable will allow you to not let a woman waste your time. Facts. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's well, go. I'll, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, it's man. The time, time as you know, as men, as men, time is our most valuable asset and, and resource. And, you know, again, understanding who you are will dictate how you spend your time. Right. I, I, like this is something that I, that I tell my clients, like you, you, you visualize yourself in the future, right? Cause you have, you have goals that you're trying to achieve. You know, you have the type of man that you're trying to become. So you have to visualize all the details of that man that you, that you see becoming. And at the, but at the same time, the product or the, 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 the vision of the man that you see in the future is literally a product of every decision you make at each moment of life. You understand? So if you decide to go to the gym, then that's going to have something to do with your, 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 your physique in the future. If you decide to save money and manage your money correctly on a day to day basis, that's going to have an effect on your, your money situation in, in the future. If you decide to, you know, holler at attractive women on your way home from work every day, like clockwork, then that's going to have an effect on your ability to converse with women in the future because you're going to gain practice in dealing with women and you're going to see patterns and so on and so forth. If you take a thousand jump shots a day, you understand what I'm saying? Everything yeah, is a yeah. literally a product of what you decide to do with your time you understand and the problem is with a lot of dudes like you said alpha um you know a lot of dudes allow women to dictate what happened to their time then they wonder why they end up looking like bitches but y'all got it let's go uh let's go alfie <clears throat> uh mine is pretty simple sex That's it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wait what sex, sex. That's why. The That's root. why. It's the, it's the devil. It's the devil. It's the devil. It controls what men do, what they think, who they cross, who they cross up. Yeah. Sex. That's it, bro. You eliminate. Bro. You eliminate sex. You eliminate problems. 
Yeah, and I, well, and I, 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 I can yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Zach. Go ahead, go ahead, Zach. No, I don't even know if it's so much that. I think guys, they, they lack to dis, they, they lack discipline. There's nothing wrong with, with, with sex and enjoying sex. But I think guys, they lack the discipline to understand what they should be valuing. Okay, you have far too many right. guys that pedestalize sex. Right. And they exactly. pedestalize attractive women. Okay, and I said this recently, and I'm going to say it again. Show me what a man values, and I'll tell you if women respect him. Women know, when you, when you deal with women, right? Okay, there's nothing wrong with a woman knowing that you desire her sexually. But she can tell when you value it to such an extent mm. to such an extent that you are willing to compromise yourself for it so what a lot of guys don't realize their pursuit of sex and their pursuit of, of dealing with with females they value that so much they simultaneously devalue themselves in a the pursuit of that shit. and women see you they see you and they don't respect you if you don't respect your time women won't if you don't respect yourself women won't I got it, man. Yeah, and I, I, I will, I will agree. I, I think, I think sex is um, a motivator for weak men, right? Like they, these bitch ass men, um, are so motivated by that. But I, I would, I would go even further and say, why they allow women to waste their time also is because they have a a, a mommy mommy complex. Yeah, you know when 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 a lot of these men have been raised by a lot of these women by themselves and they're used to you know always having a company of a woman and so you know i was talking to alfie about this yesterday about just understanding that you know being alone you gotta be happy with being by yourself and and understanding that being by yourself is a value right and if you can do that there's strength in that you know a lot of a lot of times men you hear them say like, man you know i need a woman you know i need to be you know, with a woman, whatever. It, it's all about being around someone who either reminds them of their mommy or a lot of times weak men can't make a lot of decisions for themselves. So what they do is they, they look into a woman for advice, for leadership, for something. What are you guys' thoughts on men looking at women inside of, inside of uh, 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 again, their time, but what do you think about men that feel like they just need to be around a woman to feel like they're, you know, they're doing something with their life, you know, like a validation piece. You know, I gotta, you know, I can't go on a, uh, you know, a wedding without a woman. I can't go to a movie without a woman. I can't, fuck, just like weed smokers, you know, I gotta do everything high. It's kind of like men that feel like they gotta go and do everything with women. What are y'all thoughts? Let's start with you. Uh, let's start with you. Yep. No, no, no. Uh, no. If, you, if you're doing it in a particular order, I'll fall. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't got no order. Just go ahead and pop. Let's go. Okay. Go for it, Zach. Well, go for well, it. Well, 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 here's my thing, right? And and you can see it. It's, it's very evident that a lot of men, they look for validation from a woman to make them feel like they're men. Like they, they need certain things from a woman to make them feel like they're somebody. You know what I'm saying? This is why guys, they'll say, don't approach women or don't validate women or don't give women compliments because they feel like as a man, I can't be myself unless a woman validates me and tells me it's okay. okay it, it ain't no different than guys who run around here and they follow a woman's lead or they deal with women on their terms. They have no sense of direction. And I think a lot of young men literally have no sense of direction and they believe the end game Right, like like the, the the most happiest time they will ever have in their life is sitting around dealing with a woman. Okay, and I think that's where they fuck up at. And you said something fifty in the very beginning, yo man. Solitude is priceless. Men need to learn how to be alone. You don't have to be up under a female at every turn. In fact, when you real about your shit, you will begin to understand that you don't want to be around women that often. Like, mm -hmm. hey, like, look, look, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do this by myself. I'm gonna travel by myself. I'm gonna kick it by myself. I'm gonna go watch this movie by myself. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat by myself. I don't need you to be up under me for me to have a good time. I think a lot of guys, they feel in order for their life to be complete, they need a woman to complete it. And that's sad. Y'all got it. Let's go, let go, me, AB. Um, yep. Let, all right, so watch this. So <clears throat> you're absolutely right, Zach. And, you know, another thing, too, it's one thing to, 
See, solitude is priceless, like like you guys have been saying, man. But, you know, the real thing is a lot of guys tend to embrace solitude because it's due to circumstance. They break up and now they want to go back to the gym. They want to get back on their shit because now they were forced, right, to get back in shape. They got comfortable. They got complacent in the relationship. Now the relationship is ended. Now they want to embrace solitude. But it's a different story when you decide to prioritize yourself before the bitch, right? So it's kind of like we talked about earlier about sex. Nothing wrong with sex. Sex is great. We all enjoy it. But guys, like you said, is a blurry line as far as where they put sex in the priority list. They prioritize, they pedestalize sex way too much. And Miles has a great course out, masculinity identity uh, membership. Most of these niggas don't know who they are. They ain't had no daddy. They want to drive Ferraris. They want to be a podcaster. They want to live through these niggas. And this is why you know, a lot of these guys, they don't have a voice because, you know, quite frankly, guys, you know, we're all content creators and shit. But most of the guys that are at the highest level of subscribership aren't really saying anything mind blown. The reason why they're so popular is because the guys who listen to them have no voice. They have no balls. They're bitch asses. And they want to rely on somebody else to speak on their behalf. Mm -hmm. So because of that, that's that's what it is. So now there's nothing worse than a nigga standing behind a woman for validation respectfully we all like women but women are the inferior specimen so why the fuck would you associate or stand behind somebody that is inferior that is a reflection of you most of these niggas don't know who they are they listen to too much youtube it's too much theory right not enough game not enough accountability and that's why they validate and they seek validation from people who are inferior and in turn that affects their, the way that they move in, in, in you know in this world Go ahead, Miles. You're on mute. Some real shit. You're, You're on mute. mute. You're mute. Yeah, with so much technology and um and convenience, you understand? You know, because look, in order to start a conversation with a stranger, any stranger, I'm not just talking about dealing with women. In order to kind of start a conversation with a stranger, it you know it takes a certain level of confidence because there's always an unknown. Right. You, you don't know who you step into. You don't know who you about to talk to. You don't know if they got Tourette syndrome, if they if they deaf, if they're mute. Like there's a lot of unknowns. So. It, it always it always takes a certain level of hunter warrior. Right. You know, if we if we going back to the, you know, to to the beginning, it's like it takes a, a trait of a hunter warrior even to start a conversation with a perfect stranger. So that that just takes that um, that initiative, that courage. And the thing is, is that with a lot of the things that's going on today, as far as, you know, social media, the way civilization is, how easy things are and how accessible everything is. I mean, you know, you know, think about just 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 doing a a, um, a, a, re a report for school, you know, a term paper or something like that. Like you have to take a trip to the library. You have to go to the you have to talk to the librarian. They tell you what the Dewey Decimal System is, and you got to look shit up based on it. You know, it was so much just to find a just a, a two sentences in a book. You understand? And you have to read the book. You, so much effort just to find a little bit of information so you could put it in your in, into your report, and then you know so you could get a grade. Nowadays, shit, you could pay somebody on Fiverr to, to write the whole goddamn report for you. You understand what I'm saying? Literally, you can literally pay a motherfucker five, five to fifteen dollars to write a damn report for you, and you'll pass the class too. You'll get an A on that shit. Now, with with society being so easy, I feel like it has, you know, or you know, I think I think that it has taken away that initiative that we all should have as men. You understand? And then uh, coupled with that, being raised in, in these single parent homes and looking to a woman as our leader to begin with and, and her embracing these, you know, these masculine tendencies because, you know, she's literally out here fending for herself. And this is no knock to women. I'm just explaining the realities. Right. So we you got a young boy looking up to a woman as a leader and he sees her embracing these masculine tendencies while at the same time playing the victim because she never forgets that she's a woman and she needs shit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's, there's a, there's a diminishing of the hunter warrior, the go get it. And then there is an embracing of the feminine leadership as well as the victimization, uh, narrative. You get what I'm saying? And then that's what these guys are looking to. And then it's like, you got to do like, you know, you know, for example, somebody like a Kevin Durant, Nobody nowhere can say anything bad about Kevin Durant and he don't go and have a problem with it on some 
on some tit for tat arguing with nigga shit. You understand what I'm saying? And I and yeah. I and I and I fervently believe that that has a lot to do with the fact that he was raised by by a um a single parent mother. You understand to the point where he can't just focus on his craft and speak like reply to you on the court. You understand if somebody because back in the day with Jordan, if somebody said some shit that he ain't like, he would just be like, all right, that's cool, and then come to your city and drop sixty on you. You understand? Yeah. Meanwhile, these dudes is on social media fighting back and forth with niggas like it's like it's fun. You understand? Uh, so just to summarize, you know, you know, uh, easy times make weak men, and right now we're in the easy times. You understand? So hopefully we could keep the, keep keep what we got going, so we can be there for when the the, the turn happens. Because real men is going to be necessary when the turn happens. Because when hard times come back around, because everything is a cycle, right? When hard times come back around, men like us is going to be needed. Our rhetoric is going to be required to make it through. So that's what. It is. What we got, Alfie? I agree with what 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 Miles said. Um, see the issue um is 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 men need to they need to find mentors and role models to okay all right let me i'm thinking fast that's what i want to say like dudes want to learn how to be players before being a man if you're being a man you will have the option to be a player but people don't get that. Right. That's right. You, you, you can be a player and you can be good with women, but that don't make you a good man. Mm-hmm. That doesn't, that doesn't make you, that doesn't give you the skills as a, as a provider. It doesn't give you the, the skills of being masculine around a woman long-term. It doesn't give you the skills of, of having integrity and having people trust you. So that's why you, that's why you need to learn to be a man first, because all those principles I just named, are the things that women are attracted to every single one i might have just named the top five on accident other than attraction <laughs> other than other than looks other than i'm telling you guys man like women see the thing see the thing is this bro like we we we, we talk about women being hypergamous and things of that nature and um you know so so we have a certain level of guys and then they like a certain level of women. So the level of women wouldn't even be attracted to that level of guys, even if the, the guy leveled up. Because <laughs> women that are considered to be gold diggers and that kind of shit that, that, that you know, they only they only they only go for certain kind of cats anyway. So regardless mm-hmm. of you, you, you don't only certain cats have access to certain people. Mm-hmm. You know, so <laughs> you know, guys need to let they 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 need to they need to get their man shit on, man, and uh, and also too, dudes need to really embrace the type of man that they want to be. You know, if you if you are a married cat and you only want to be with one woman and you want a house and a dog, don't try to switch your swag because I'm because I want something different, bro. Because then nice. what's that nice. showing is you ain't authentic. If if you gonna break your authenticity authenticity just on the having behalf of a, having a conversation with a player cat, then what kind of leadership and structure do you have with your women when you can be broken that easy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a lot of long. times you 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 cats you deal with your chicks and a lot of times you getting strax strikes on the board because she watching how you interact with your friends she 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 hear you talk all this player shit and all this leadership shit to her but then when the friends come over for the game you don't want going to get the popcorn and shit you see what i'm saying oh, you don't want Lord. getting up and doing because you you feel what you, i'm just saying so that that's the <laughs> that's the, it's that that's the dynamic and women look oh all that it's like that shit so you know when you a real man and you are see 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 you a real man and you are a leader and you have cats that 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 can want to learn for you and 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 you can lead them and open up their minds to different shit. see a woman to look at that and be like man i want to be a part of that too because if he could do that with a man he sure can help me with my life that's how that's that's the one that's the language that the women speak man that's the language 
1950, you open me up, you're going to get a dose now for a minute. Yeah, I'm with it, man. I'm with it. Wake this nigga up. Wake this nigga up, you know, man. I, I, I was going to say, but we, but just, yeah, man. I got so I, I ain't even gonna say that, but um, you know, and then and then I will I will do this too. I'm gonna let, let me drop this on you, cats. I challenge you, older cats, and you see this is the this is the problem that I got. I'm gonna just go there. It's a lot of guys who create content just to create content, fool. Mm -hmm. That if, if you in a position where you can influence people, why not do that? You want to start a YouTube channel to talk about you're you're great, or you want to, like no, bro, like you you. Start the channel to because it gives you a platform to hit different people you wouldn't be able to get. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I challenge the cats who you make YouTube mentor some cats, bro. Don't just talk about your receipts and shit like that because that ain't helping nobody. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Mm -hmm. If that's applicable, then cool. So, so boom. So let me tell you how that's. So boom. If the receipts count, if a guy's into that and he had a fifty lay count, and he wasn't gonna, then, then his that then the receipts matter for him. But as a whole, man, help these brothers out, man. Don't be don't be thinking it's sauce to keep it to yourself and shit. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm so good. I'm gonna just hold on to it. You, you're fucking well, up then. Why you want to hold on to some shit, man? You gotta let that shit fly. That's what the purpose is. If you if you if you know this knowledge and you ain't helping nobody, you are a piece of shit. And don't <laughs> call yourself no teacher and don't call yourself no fucking dating coach. Those are just titles you use to start up a YouTube channel just to try to get money with no integrity, no focus, and no, no integrity, goals, and no reason behind mm -hmm. what you're doing. You bro, cats these, are a piece of shit to me, bro. Mm. A lot of these dudes, they they just want to talk. They just want to, you know, they ain't got no friends. Don't nobody like them. Don't nobody That's fuck right. with them really in real life. So so what they do is they they watch certain YouTube channels and they see what's popping. They see what's hitting. And they say, you know what, I'm gonna latch on to that ideology and I'm gonna go ahead and speak on that because that seems to be the popular move right now. And then, you know, they they ride the wave of that. But when you listen to some of these dudes talk, they just talking to be talking. These niggas ain't saying nothing, bro. Like nothing really. Like Bro, there are certain dudes that never say nothing profound. They just fucking talk just to be talking. But yeah. yet and still, and I think uh, AV said it earlier, a lot of these dudes that be having huge followings, they're just appealing to a wider audience of guys who think just like them. Guys who have no sense of direction. They don't know who right. the fuck they are. They, they are literally just existing right out in life. They're not really living life. They're not really doing anything. They're just existing, and then they find people that are like-minded, and they latch on to that shit. Let, 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 I, I got to drop something real fast on 1950, real quick. You hear me? I'm on you. Let me let me let me clarify. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna take all the hits for all of us right now. So I'm we we are the fucking lineup. I'm gonna stand in the front and take it for all of us now. The cats on YouTube. There's a little thing between the older cats and the younger cats. And the, and the younger cats be thinking the older cats don't know how it is and all of this shit. But let me clarify some cats for you young dudes. Now, when we older cats be trying to, we, we, it's not, see, I know how you young cats think. They be thinking, oh, these old cats is old, they hating. We're not hating, bro. I can just tell when somebody not saying something right. I can tell when somebody can say something and they don't really know it. It's 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 the it's the older cats. We're all like 40. It's the older cats that we just know. You can tell when somebody tell you some stuff and they mm -hmm. lived it and 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 they really know it. And it's disrespectful to hear somebody be at a level to teach something that you know that they don't know. So we older cats, we not haters. We just we just know self correction, bro. And some of this stuff is not it. Some of this stuff sound cool, and then and then we have these things that become other things, bro. And it's all based off nothing. You know what I'm it's, saying? It's, so it's offensive. Ahead, bro. It's it's offensive because because you know it's misinformation right. being spewed, and you're shaking your head at it like, damn. Look, bro, you know, okay, Zaga, that's that that's like yeah. that's like you hear a player online talk about how to be a pimp, bro. That's the best way I can say it, bro. There you go. So you hear you, a, go. you hear a player online talking pimp shit. No, it's not. You can't do that, bro. You got to nope. talk the player stuff only. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I what I what bothers me too. 
is that they'll listen to a woman online, oh, yeah. get advice oh, from, <laughs> and her numbers are ridiculous. And 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 we're they they they're the same ones talking about single mothers. They're the same ones talking about you know manship, but going to women for man advice. And then you all you see is the the, the comments with the pandering, just everything that she's saying. She's spitting fire. This shit bothers me. And then you got real quick, Alfie, real quick. And then and then the the they got motherfuckers with avatars. With more numbers than us, bro. Motherfuckers not even showing their identity as a man. They're on here just repeating shit. Nigga, be, nigga I see motherfuckers with six, seven hundred people watching an avatar nigga, though. An avatar woman got over 120,000 subs. Mm. Nigga, this is what I'm saying. Weak men gravitate to garbage, my nigga. Fact. Gravitate. And they know what lane they supposed to drive in. <laughs> but I I'll rather I'll rather go this fucking way because that right there seems easier. Go ahead, Alfred. Right. These dudes be having the mommy issues, bro. I'm telling you right now, and this is and this is some deep shit. Let me tell you why it's deep, because I don't want people to miss it. It's deep because, see, the mommy issues is is the pinpoint of why they have the problems with women. So it's a fucked up position that you are in a position where what you need fucks you up. I'm going to pack a little bit more. So. You so you got mommy issues, so you don't look for women just for the sex. You look for it for just you want to hold, you wanna, you wanna, you you want her to hold you, you want her to 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 motivate you. Like you need that. You need these certain oh. things. And then what happens is the woman does these certain things, and then and then she loses attraction. And that happens over and over and over. Your so your addiction to that feeling is is it never ends it because women mm -hmm. automatically get turned off after a while and then it fucks up your confidence it fucks up everything about you because you don't need but you don't know that when you have those issues like that you attract them type of women the kind of women you want you don't be attracted to because she don't have that kind of vibe that you that you did you she don't have a vibe that you need but the vibe that you need is fucking you up internally you know what i'm saying is is because 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 each because each relationship that you're doing this mommy shit with you're leaving them abused and then you're feeling fucking lonely and shit and scorn and you're feeling like worthless and shit all behind the woman bro <laughs> and that steers back behind to why i said you got to learn how to be the man you yeah, see how these niggas is, these bitch ass niggas is lonely and shit nigga that's yeah like if you're lonely dog you're lacking as a man you you is something internally wrong with you <laughs> if you like, 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 I always try to, always try to tell any woman that's ever been in my life. I always let them know there's a priority list, and and you're not even in the top five, and 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 until they accept that, then there's no way they can be in my presence. And and any man that says, okay, you're you're my priority, you need to question his guidance. Because he doesn't understand that for him to put you as a priority in, in your life, he's overlooking the most valuable things that's in his life. Exactly. Miles, you got something. Yeah, Perfect. well, it, 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 and, and that's the thing with leadership. Leadership carries over to all aspects of life. And if a woman is smart, she'll be looking for a good leader because like – like, you know, a lot of just to bring up Andrew Tate again, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a, it's a decent example because Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate talks about like the way he speaks, people interpret that he's talking. He's saying that women are property. But if you you can you can substitute the word property for responsibility, because if you own a car, right, you got to have insurance on that bitch. You got to you got to keep it uh, oiled. You got to keep gas in it. You got to keep it clean, whatever, whatever. You got to keep it running so you can get around. It's property, but it's not just that it's property. The day to day 
uh, reality of, of having something in your possession like that is the responsibility of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And as men, if we know how to lead, if we know how to manage, if we're on point, we know how to organize and schedule and do what the hell we need to do. Then if I know how to keep my, my house in check, if I know how to keep my car in check, if I know how to keep my wardrobe tight, if I know how to take care of myself, if, if I'm good in health, grooming, cleanliness, hygiene, everything, then if a woman is smart, she understands that she will fall into, she will fall into the quality of all my other property. You understand? But what it really is, is that she's falling to the quality of all my responsibilities. Mm. You mm. see what I'm saying? And that's what a that's what a that's what a man does. And when we allow any other outside influences to direct our attention, resources, or energies, that's when we begin to waste time. You see what I'm saying? But when a, when a, when a woman realizes that she she has to fall in line to be to to be to to have you know to receive the benefit of that type of quality management, that's the only way it's going to work. You see what I'm saying? Because a woman, if you let, if you let, if you give her the opportunity to lead, she's going to, you know, a woman is good for a lot of different things, right? But when it comes to direction and progress, a man has to be the one to pull the trigger. And I'm, and, and I'm explaining it and, and then I give it to you. Here's, here's what it is. If I'm standing at a crossroads, I'm, first of all, I'm standing. That means I am stagnant. I got to go right or I got to go left. Now, check it. Check out how life works. No matter which which way I go, right or left, it's going to be challenges, obstacles and issues. You understand what I'm saying? And, and what a man does is a man is willing to deal with those obstacles and issues so we can continue to progress. But here's what the feminine energy does. The feminine energy stands at the crossroads and talks about how we feel about the possibilities of decisions. Bottom line is, if we're talking about our feelings about the decisions, we're still standing at the crossroads instead of moving down the road to get the progress. You see what I'm saying? So a man is like, you know, I'll, I, can, I can consult with, with, with my woman and say, well, if we go there, there's that, and I feel this. and we. But at the end of the day, a man has to say, listen, we're going left. We're going left. Yeah. Now, what, what I need you to do is trust in me to, to trust in me and support me to understand that whatever comes up through through my consistency and management and and provision and leadership and protection and security, I will be able to deal with whatever problems come with going left. But we go and left because we can't stand at the crossroads anymore. We got to make a move and, and keep moving forward. AV. You know, I, I like what you I like what you said, man, both you and 50. I'd like to piggyback on that real quick. So 50 said, um, if a woman is questioning and you know, bitching about the fact that she's not in your top five of your priority list, then she doesn't understand the value and the importance of leadership. You have to question your leadership. If you put if you prioritize a woman before the things that are important for the big picture, they need to question the leadership. Now, Miles said right. something important as well. Women are confused with responsibilities versus properties. Now, we've been talking about why the niggas let women waste their time. When a man prioritizes himself, he's a leader. He's not at the crossroad. He understands that he has to put himself first so he can be the best version for whoever's around him. At that point, a woman is going to see how he treats his property, right? His property, the things that he likes, cleanliness, physique, health, money, house, everything is in order. A woman that sees this will want to be one of those properties because he knows that if you are my property, I'm going to take care of you. But in order for you... A woman to feel secure, safe, to want to be a part of your program, you got to be a good leader. And a man that relies on a woman to make the final decision. Again, consulting is one thing, but we're talking about the generalities. At the end of the day, the man has to have the final decision contingent on the fact that he does everything else and he runs it with like a tight ship. Women will right. give you very little pushback when they feel secure. When you go, you got your own place, Avi, yeah, they, you invite them over, they see everything's all decked out. They're comfortable, no resistance. But when a woman will not want to be let off a cliff, if your property, your lifestyle, you everything that she says, you buck on it and shit, you turn, you change your mind because she wants it, she's making a face. Now she realizes that you're not a good leader. And at the end of the day, this is what we you guys talk about shit tests and shit like that. So bottom line is, man, what 50 and everybody's been saying at the end of the day, the man should be the priority. 
And once yeah. you make yourself the priority and everything that's around you, a woman will have no choice or a choice to either get with the program or not. And I'm, I'm going to say this too, you know, um, I like to use words that triggers certain people. Um, and the reason why I like doing that is because like, I'm a controlling motherfucker. Any, 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 okay. If, if I'm the coach or I'm the leader and I get the blame, I need to be in control of what the outcome is. Right. So you're not, I'm a guy who is going to control my environment. I am going to control any environment that any of my uh, 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 influences in. And those words you're going to have to take. I'm, I'm a control guy. So the property, you're damn right. You're my property. And the people who had problems with that never had anyone treat them the way they felt. So they, they envy that. You, you've been treated like shit. If you, if you are a woman and your value, you have 99 cents door bottom, then you know your mind better be mil billionaire uh, 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 quality in order for a man to have you in his presence, right? Right. And the reason why I'm saying these things is because a lot of those people that hated what Andrew Tate was saying, they hated it because they don't understand it. They've never been in a position to be someone's property. Exactly. And that is where the problem lies is because a lot of times people hear things and they get sensitive with the ears because they don't understand how someone can treat a woman in this way. I take care of my vehicles out front. And I said plural because I have many of them. I clean them. I make sure they're gassed up. They have regular maintenance. I take care of their interior. I make sure the tires are looking good. I make sure they're looking good. They're in the image of me. Mm. They're, they're my property. Exactly. I take care of my home the same way. I make sure the roof is quality. I make sure my AC is running great. I make sure my grass is cut in front and in the back. I want to make sure mm. these things because I care about my property. The value that I have in my life is created by me. Mm. But I'd like to have a perception of what people see when they pass by. So my woman when they pass by her, need to see an image of me. She's my right. property. And I don't think, I think people misscrew things. You have to understand the value you put in what is yours. Facts. What do you got, uh, Alfie? Well, go ahead, okay, Zag. Al Alfie didn't Zag. Oh, Zag and Alfie, whatever. Okay, well, no, what what I what I'll say, I'll say this. When you when you value things, you take care of it. Yes. At, at the period. So and, and and it goes back to when you when you meet women, right? This is what guys gotta understand. They're gonna scrutinize everything. They're gonna look at everything about you from head to toe, 360 degrees. They're gonna look at your whip. If they ever get inside, they're gonna look in the back seat, they're gonna look at the floor. If they come in your crib. They're going to look at that shit. So this is what I would tell guys. If you have women come to your house and they have their purse up under their arm and they never put that bitch down, they're not comfortable there. Right. Period. Okay. They're not comfortable in your crib. If, if they don't take off their shoes and, and, and get cozy on your couch, they're not comfortable in your shit. Okay. Which means more than likely they're not comfortable around you because you can tell. You, when a woman come in your crib and your shit is nice and it's smelling good and you got everything just, just in order, she knows this man, he values order. He values having things in, in a particular place. Mm -hmm. And and it's not just your crib, it's everything about you. It's the way that you conduct yourself. It's about the shit that you choose to talk about. 
women are sitting there peeping every fucking thing and they're scrutinizing everything because what they want to know is, okay, is this guy a chump or is it fool's gold? Meaning I like what I see, but is it real? Okay. Is it sustainable? Is it sustainable? Can he be consistent? Because this is what any woman will tell you that the biggest problem she has with men is consistency. She can't find a man who can be consistent from beginning to end. I refer to it as the momentum of attraction. Okay. It's like you're, you got a good catch hand, but your keep hand is horrible. You know Mm. what I'm saying? You, you, You can get a woman interested, but you can't keep her interested. Okay. And a lot of that has to do with the consistency of the man and, and how you live your life and how you run your shit. But y'all got it. Go ahead, Alfie. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you ladies something. I hope y'all listening. Um, a lot of the time, I'm going to say majority. And I can speak for myself and I can speak for thousands because I coach dating and I hear the stories other than my own. See, the women, they'll do the things to get the man, but they don't do it. They don't they won't continue on to keep the man. But the problem is they feel like now it was her job to do that. Now it's his job to do the rest of the stuff. But in order to she got him to do the stuff by what she was doing, you know what I'm saying? So women some women are can consistent be can be consistently doing things but for the most part you know that's why they have it the month the honeymoons the honeymoon phase bro is controlled by the woman it's not controlled by the man that's controlled by the woman so she's in she's the one that's making it all like that in the beginning not the dude because if because if the woman is doesn't give the dude that much action there is no honeymoon phase that's why she's in control Mm-hmm. The dude can't do the honeymoon phase by himself. He can he can drag a woman along and, and show her nice things. That's not honeymoon phase because honeymoon phase is when you are fixated on the greatness of somebody else. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And the woman has to control that. So, you know, um, God damn it. I lost my damn thought. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me, I'll time in and say real quick, but come back to you. Let me know. We got 15 minutes on the show. Y'all see the timer. So let me let me say some quick. I think we need to give some men advice right now on how to get a little bit back, right? So we 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 know it's not an overnight thing, but but give some men some advice on how to not allow women to waste their time, or in general, how to not waste your time. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with you, uh, Av, and then we'll go to Zach. And then we go to Miles, and then we go to uh, Alex. Okay, um, just some generic advice on how to prevent a woman from wasting your time. Don't let shit slide. As minute as it may feel, or you, what you think, if it's against your program, don't let it slide. A lot of times, we may talk to our guy friends or our colleagues and shit, and you know they may perceive you as overreacting. But if it's something that you don't like, don't be afraid. Even if she's not your lady, don't be afraid to let her know. Listen, I ain't like the way you did that. Or, you know, just confront shit because this way it kind of it kind of filters out whether the woman's going to be coachable. She follows instructions and or she's going to be willing to kind of conform to what you do. Like Zag said, we tend to value our possessions. Right. So a woman should see you having standards and not letting shit slide as a possession. Right. So she should know that you value her if you just if she decides to get into your program. So not letting women get away with shit flaking texting you doing some dumb shit that's one way you cannot waste it you can you know prevent wasting your time with women and overall guys you know i think the biggest time waster for men when it comes to just everything in general is the stagnation like that uh, like uh, miles said the inability to make a decision the sooner you make a decision the sooner you'll see whether it's going to work for you or not a lot of you guys are too much in your head you're listening to too much content you're confused this guy said this this guy said that try it yourself try it and you'll be surprised some of the shit that you hear on youtube may not even work for you some way you might come up with a new idea on how to do something that's more efficient for you so the biggest time saver is to just do something take calculated risk but take the risk nonetheless so you can know whether or not it's going to work for you or not facts that's big facts i I like the fact that you said calculated risk because that's something that i definitely have talked about in the past that 
any endeavor that you partake mm -hmm. in, it is a calculated risk. There are pros and cons associated with them and everything you fucking do. Especially when you deal with women and you are inviting them into your life, there are definitely pros and cons, <laughs> but right. men need to learn how to mitigate that risk. You can mitigate right. it, okay? And, and, and part of that is, is, is number one, you need to have a set of standards and principles by which you abide by. Because if mm -hmm. you don't abide by them, a woman can't adhere to them. Okay, so so also what guys got to understand, and we all talked about it, you know, time is your most valuable commodity. You, that's one of the, you can never get that back. You can get money back, you can get lost property back, you can get a new car, new crib, clothes. Once time is gone, it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and we've all been in situations where we've dealt with with females, not even just females. Even other people where we felt like, all right, this motherfucker wasting my time. Let me go ahead and get rid of them. And, and here's the thing. This is what guys got to understand. You need to have a system in place that goes with the flow of your life. And any woman who comes into it that goes against the grain of that, you got to get rid of her. Because you got to ask yourself, okay, because the number one game is compatibility. Okay, a lot of guys are so fixated on sex they don't care about the compatibility component. Is she right. compatible to your situation? Does she fit into what you got going on? What you will find if you take your time and really pay attention to some of these women you deal with, most of them are gonna go against the grain of that. In some way, even like I think AV said it, even if it's something minute, like an example would be you offer a date and you tell a chick, hey, Friday night, meet me at seven o'clock at this bar. Oh, I don't like that bar. Their margaritas suck. All right, I'm done with you. That resistance. Mm -hmm. That resistance is showing me that you cannot seamlessly fit into my situation because you're already giving me resistance on the most minute thing. If you give me resistance on this, you're going to give me resistance on something bigger later. Mm -hmm. I can't take that chance. Y'all got it. Yeah. That's facts, man. That's, that's, that's crazy, crazy facts. Like the... Uh, there's a, because there, I believe that there's a lot of red flags that are shown early, early, but guys look past them because they just staring at her ass. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like guys, guys look past the red flag. Yo, the red flags are there. I mean, yeah, you, you might, you have been with this girl for four months, and then all of a sudden she just started acting crazy, man. She just started being disrespectful. I swear, everything was good from the beginning. No. Nah, nigga, nah. <laughs> yeah, it was always there, right? You overlooked it. But, right? Yeah, like you, you, you know, you, you took her out to that spot, and she was being real, real, uh, crass with the with the wait serve with the wait staff or with the bartender. You know what I'm saying? Like she, she, she gets road rage and she be cussing and yelling and, but she was you was looking past. Oh, she was on her phone the whole t the whole first day. She was on her goddamn phone, but you was looking past that though mm, yeah. because. I had fat is she cute the whole first date she was storying and fuck whole first date she was texting her friends but you looking past that though because nah man i need to smash i ain't trying to leave this pussy on the table really really okay see look this this leadership thing man i'm telling you you know you know how women love to say like these christian women they love to say i'm you know i'm looking for a i'm looking for a man that knows that knows that knows God, that knows how to follow God. I'm looking for somebody that's God fearing. You understand? I'm looking for I'm looking for a man. You know, wh and when they say that, what I hear is is that they're looking for a man that understand that he is to follow something bigger than himself. Okay, that he understands that there is something bigger than himself. That there is a responsibility. There is something more important than than himself. What she what, what she doesn't fully understand, or what 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 a lot of these you know these females that that come on you know these social media platforms and say that, a lot of things that they don't fully understand is that in the same way that a man has to understand that there's something bigger than himself, it's the same way that that woman has to understand that the man is the thing that's bigger than her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it it fall it it's a there's a there is a hierarchy i was having a conversation with a young lady the other day and she was like oh so you believe in hierarchies and control and this that and the third and i tried to explain to her i said i said hierarchies in 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 a lot of situations hierarchies are natural and there's nothing you can do to change them and once you try to change them you will you will uh fall into dysfunction right 
And and I'm gonna just give one example and I'm gonna wrap it. So I told her, I said, so does the sun tell the, the plants and the leaves to, 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 to create photosynthesis? Does the sun control photosynthesis? Or does the sun just, just you know, the sun just exists in the center of our galaxy and then it, it, it does what it does and then photosynthesis happens and then the plants grow and all that type of shit. Which is it? Is it a, is it a natural, um, you know, combination of things that are just set in place and there's nothing you could do about it? I mean, because if you were to leave it up to these people, man, you wouldn't, you, you should be able to walk off a 10 story building and nothing happened to you, right? Right? Because the thing is, if you, if you walk off a 10 story building, gravity is going to snatch your ass and bring you to the ground at such a force that you're at least you're going to have terrible injuries or you're going to die. Now, did gravity do that because it didn't like you or did it do that because that's what gravity does? You see what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with 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 us as men. We have to look at ourselves as. And, and you know, and the reason why there's something bigger there's something we have to know how to follow something greater than us is because there's there's something called nature there's something called the way things are yeah. you understand that, that needs to be understood you understand because until a bitch could fucking put a seed in me and then i become pregnant then i know that there's a certain order to this shit i'm sorry yeah, until she can do that to me then i have to agree with the order that has been laid out in front of me and it's not because I want to be dominant over a woman. No, this is the way it's been designed by nature. Right. So fall right. back, fall back and leave your opinions over there. Because like I said, gravity is not smacking you to the ground off a 10 story building because it's trying to hurt your feelings or because it's trying to offend you. No, gravity's doing that because that's what gravity does. That's what it does. Right. You understand? And, 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 and if we want to even take it further into the, the whole scientific part of it, what would happen if there was no gravity? The, the soil couldn't stay in place, so the trees couldn't grow, so we couldn't get any oxygen, and everything that runs this whole fucking ecosystem we called the planet Earth. We, it's all necessary, right? So with that being said, it's necessary for me as a man to be that leader, to, to not allow any other things to waste my time, because that's all we got. Because once it's over, it's over. Even if you believe in reincarnation, you you ain't coming back as the same nigga, period. Mm -hmm. Even if you believe in reincarnation. So that's pretty much it, man. Masculine masculine identity membership. Get on it. You feel me? Okay. Let, let, yeah. let me just interject yeah. this right quick about right. the hierarchy. Because, Miles, you, you mentioned something. You mentioned that you have some women who are Christian women. They're looking for a God-fearing man. Even with the hierarchy with that, it's God, man, woman, child, domestic pest. Facts. The man is still about a woman, regardless. You know what I'm saying? And and so to me, this is why when you and this is no, and I'm not trying to talk shit about women, but this is why when you when you listen to certain women talk about, oh, I'm not submitting to no man, but these are the same women that believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Though, wait a minute, hold on. So if you believe, if you believe in Him, you're you're mm -hmm. not following the hierarchy of what He said exists, which is God first. Man, second, woman, children, and everything below that. Y'all got it now. Thanks. Let me let me read this really quick. It says, uh, I'm hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring it up here so I can really see this thing. It says, uh, it says I'm playing the numbers game heavy. I have come across. Oh, it went away. I have come across so much BS that many guys cannot handle. It comes with the territory. Women will try to waste your time, but when you are direct, you kill the BS. Facts. Hey, that's dope, man. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate all my super chats, by the way, man. I appreciate that. Alfie, you got it, and then we're going to close it. <clears throat> um, I think you covered the, 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 all oh, everybody covered the man stuff. So I know that at the end of the day, realistically, these dudes care about the dating shit, whether we agree with it or not. So I'll give them some dating gems real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, for you young players, uh, you guys got to learn to try before you buy. Uh, and what I mean by that is, okay, put it like this, you know, I'm, I'm 40, 40 game. So let's pretend I cut off all my experiences, sexual 
and just interactions, period, from 22. I missed, that's so much life I missed out on. I would have missed out on. So the point is, it's like dudes, you know, they, they date around and then the first, the first thing that they like, the, the first thing that they find that they like and they're into, they, they lock in on that. And then they then they they lock in and on on that, and then you know, they get disappointed. You know what I mean? Me, I work in education. I see these couples, and it tickles me that. And you know, 1952, they yeah. were so in love, and they, and they really think that that is going to be forever. And you know, you can't. <laughs> you, and if you were to tell them differently, they'd be hating. Some people make it. High mm-hmm. school sweethearts is a thing, but for the most part, they it's my baby, and it's just like, haha, you're gonna go through like four or five of those, brother. You don't even. No. You know what I mean? So, tr- you know, you don't, don't even know what you like until you've had everything. People just try one or two things and mm-hmm. and then just with the, they just go for the first stuff. And then they don't really learn relationship dynamics. You, right. you really learn. You, I, I learned. See, see, guys, you got to you got to learn from just dealing with chicks too, not just the ones you hit. So this is what you do. The ones you hit, you be thinking about, okay, how did I hit? Okay, so that that's my skills of how I hit girls as far as your conversation and the places you take them, all of that. And then relationships, the same thing. But you guys got to learn to just deal with women and just learn little pieces from even the shit that don't go nowhere. And then you move it and use it over here and use it over here. They just focus on my relationship skills and my sex skills. Like, no, bro, like, just for instance, so... I remember, I remember one time, uh, you know, I met a chick through content. So I'm feeling myself and I'm just kind of little, I'm a little too cocky with it. You know what I'm saying? On some, yeah, bitch, you know, that kind of vibe. And, and then she kind of went away, but I knew to myself, like, I could have really toned that down, but I just, I'm just so lazy and cocky with it. I don't give a fuck, but I just, okay, boom, that didn't do that. So if I have another situation, okay, let me tone it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just shit like that. Even though that was a one engagement, a little tweet. Like, damn, you know, I fucked up right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So so just, and that's the second part too. Correct yourself. Don't just wait to fall on the ground and then how did I get here? No. Even if you win, just think, what could I do better? You know what I'm saying? So right. That's what I get, y'all. Right. That's dope, so man. We got, about, we got about a minute left. Um, but let's go down. And, <clears throat> let's go around real quick. We're going to start AV, Zach. Uh, Alfie and Miles, you guys let them know what's next for you. Man, thanks for having me on 50. Guys, it's, it's always it. um, cool to hang out with you guys, man. And this this was a very important show. Make sure y'all subscribe and check me out on um, YouTube, Alpha Villains. I got a morning show, Finish Your Breakfast with AV, weekday mornings, 8 a.m. to Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow's topic is Karma Real. I'll catch y'all next time. All right. All right, what's Peace. up? Yo, Zach and 20 here. Manhood is a skill set. It is. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say this real quick. There's an article floating around. It's called The Brutal Honesty About Women and Cheating. The article was hilarious. Uh, I'm going to do a little something on it. Uh, Let me just say this about cheating real quick. Um, I think people need to stop concerning themselves with who cheat the most, men or women. Both genders cheat. It don't don't really matter. It don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? My, My thing is this. When, when you are a person, when you have dignity, integrity, you have standards and principles by which you abide by, you're going to know that when you invite people into your life, when they do anything to go against those standards and principles, you just get rid of them. There's no reason to cry and bitch about shit. You know what I'm saying? You just get rid of motherfuckers who mean you no good. That's it. I got it. I am. Miles Sam, man, like I said, MasculineIdentityMembership.com. Go to Masculine Identity, and there's also free email coaching. Also go to BadBoyMembership.com, same situation. And on BadBoyMembership.com, there's over 100 different programs on there. Plus, you can stream the Game Kings documentary at any time. Also, uh, follow me at Miles in the Game on Instagram. Miles in the Game on Instagram. Um, I do uh, Nature Walk every morning, Monday through Friday. And, you know, y'all can put questions in the chat and, you know, y'all can follow me on, you know, I'll show you how the trail is a, it's a beautiful scene out there. And, um, and I, and I just spit game, you know what I'm saying? So follow me, like I said, uh, Mr. 1950, appreciate you for having me on the over, overtime you know, situation and always check us out uh, 12 noon Sundays for the real game, no theory panel and, uh, peace to the panel, peace to the chat. Alpha kingdom. 
All right, man. First off, thank you for the invite. Appreciate no, all my brothers, no AB, K Zag, and Miles Cunningham. Yep, the, yep. the ladies and the sisters in the chat, I see y'all. Yeah. So I'm gonna want y'all to do like four things. The first thing I want y'all to do is go on Amazon, type in AFI Kingdom, and check out some of my books. I got 25 books published and 30 written from Ooh. from dating advice to mindset to travel. I got books of, for your kids about art and shit like that. Um, so make sure you, I got psychology books. I got series, fiction, nonfiction, whatever you need. So make sure, yeah, you go to Afi Kingdom, follow me on Amazon. Uh, also, connect Hold on, that. real quick. Real quick yeah. I, just wanna, I just want them to understand that you are an, an actual educator. You understand? Yeah. I just yeah, want them to know that. Yeah. That's fact. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teach school teacher by trade. So I know a little bit of something. And just, um, yeah, so check out those books. And then follow me on Instagram at Afi Kingdom Books. That's, that's where you can see everything that I have. In one reference, you can ask me what, what, what? Just it's all there. That's why I made it. And uh, my main one is uh, International Afi. That can link you to everything else. International AFI, excuse me. Uh, yeah, follow me there. Uh, you can DM me, send me messages, whatever. I respond to everything. And most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Passport King, AFI Kingdom. Hit that notification bell. Go through my content. You know, go through some old stuff. Leave some comments, man. And then when I go live or whatever, you can kind of understand who a player is and you can respect the evolution. <laughs> so, you know, hit that All notification right. bell on that. Oh, yeah. One last thing. If you need a consultation, books, game, life, whatever, your secrets, you just embarrass, dominusmindset.org is we going to get your mind right. Dominusmindset.org. My nigga, <laughs> said, your secrets, you just embarrassed. Nigga, that's fact, though. You know, there's a lot of motherfuckers that's not, you know, happy with themselves, man. I, and I appreciate my, my, my bros coming on today, man, and representing on the show, man. You know, it's like, I, I, what I try to do in these overtime shows, you know, um, normally when we do the real game, no theory, we do a lot of call ins and try to help a lot of brothers out, and and that's and that's and that's one on one, right? But I, what I try to do on this one, though, is I try to have this. This is life lasting, and what I like to do is for have them to be able to. They should be able to come back on. I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that, but maybe it's just me. But uh, no, nah, my bad. That's Afi's. That's Afi's website. My bad. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my motherfucker got sounds and shit coming up, but not nah, straight up though. I like I like for motherfuckers to look back on the replay and, and, and be able to get something from it. But also too, I, I want I want people to learn how to use their ears more than their mouth, right? So I need I need for motherfuckers sometimes just to listen to motherfuckers. Just listen to what we got to say. Right. Like right. we ain't we ain't here because we ain't got shit else to do. We here because we really truly trying to help you out. A lot of a lot of men like you don't fucking have it. It's all it's all right, man. But you' about to get it, and you gotta grind this thing out in order to get it, man. And I and and this respect for you, gentlemen. I'm a, I'm gonna be doing this overtime thing every time we rock um, on on a real game, no theory. Um, shout out to all those you know, Lucario, Steve. Uh, they will be a part of this at some point. Taekwondo, AM, um, even Coach EO. We got EO next week, man. You know he, he's gonna come slide through. Um, you know, uh, you know, we, we got, we going to get this thing going and rocking and I appreciate you guys coming through any last words really quick before we get about here, gentlemen. Uh, All right. Y'all look hey, out for right. dominance mindset of a king to sexual dominance black Friday. Oh, nice. so we got it, man. Hey man, go ahead, man. Hey, 1950, man. Make sure you tramp her out, man. She's going to be yours. She got to come the right way. She got to be Back. your trap, man. Don't let her. Don't let her put bars in, in in provisions up saying she don't do X, Y, and Z, man. Make sure she do the right thing. Make sure she do it the way you want it, and make sure you do it in a traditional that. way, man. You know what I mean? Complete, here, complete man. sexual submission. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Peace out.